Hey, Nathan here from PH Studios, and welcome to the first tutorial for the Tower Defense Engine series. And in this series, we're going to just focus on the engine development of the Tower Defense, and then we will go on to the uh, game series where, we're, where we will actually be using the engine and creating our game's content and that stuff. So this series is just for the engine, how to program the engine and how to uh, make the user interface, the maps, the waves, all sorts of stuff. So that will be covered in this series. It'll probably be about 10 to 15 tutorials, uh, maybe a little bit longer. All right, so anyway, let's get started. Let's go and uh, create a new project. Let's make it a Windows game library 4.0, and I'm going to call it Tower Defense Engine Tutorial. All right, so once we create this, it's going to be the class library. So we need to fill up the engine, and for this tutorial, uh, for the first tutorial in any of the gaming series, so like the Spacer series, I like to do a first tutorial where we just lay out the framework, where we lay out the folders, our classes, all that stuff will be done in this tutorial, and uh, next tutorial we'll go into the actual classes themselves. But this one we're just going to build up the engine, get all of our classes created, uh, get all of our folders made and all that stuff. So this is just a structuring video. Now we can go into this class one .cs and delete this one. We do not need that one. All right. Now, in the YouTube description or my website forum posting or the main website posting, uh, wherever you're watching this video, under it you should have a link for the uh, classes for Tower Defense Engine. Now, this is a zip file, so when you unzip it, you will get these three classes. I've mentioned these in a tutorial. I will link these in the final result, uh, final production of the series. Uh, but I'll provide a link to these in the YouTube description and the postings. The clickable gameplay objects I've talked about in the past for the main XNA, uh, just a random tutorials. Not anything specific. Uh, gameplay object I've done in the past since the Space Shooter uh, text tutorial. And then the mouse tutorial I've done in the past as well. Alright, now next video I will go into these classes. But for now let's just drag them into our engine and drop them in there. So next tutorial, I'll go into the coding and just discuss what we have here. All right, so now let's create a whole bunch of folders. Let's right-click the Tower Defense Engine tutorial, and let's go to Add New Folder. Now we're going to call this Ability. Now, if you watched the last video, the abilities, all the classes in the Ability, are not being used until probably update to 1.5. Uh, but we will put it in there for later use. Uh, let's right-click the class. Uh, actually, let's right-click the project. And let's go to Add a New Folder. And let's call this Audio. Uh, let's do the same thing. And call this folder Enemy. Uh, another new folder. Level. And let's create another one. Let's call this session. And just a couple more. Two to three more. And let's call this one tower. All right, so we have two more now. So let's call this one UI for user interface. And the last one will be video. Alright, so let's go from the top to bottom and let's create the classes. So right click ability, let's go to add class. Let's call this class 
uh, ability.cs. All right, now inside of the class file itself, let's change it to a public class ability and let's change the namespace to the same namespace as everything else. All right, let's save the file. Let's right click ability. Let's go to add class. Let's name this class ability effect. Let's change it to a public class and delete the dot ability in the namespace. Save the file. Right click ability. Let's go to add new class. Let's call this class ability statistics. Let's change this to a public class ability statistics and delete the dot ability at the end of the namespace. All right, save the file. Uh, we can close the folder. And now for the audio folder. Let's right click audio, click add class, and let's name this audio manager. It's going to be a public class and delete dot audio at the end of the namespace. Let's save the class, close the audio folder, and let's go into the enemy folder. All right, right click enemy, let's go to add class, and let's call this monster.cs. It's going to be a public class, and we're just going to change namespace, delete dot enemy, and then save the file. Let's right click enemy. Let's go to add new class. Let's call this one monster statistics. All right, it's going to be a public class and delete dot enemy at the end of the namespace. Save the class. Now right click enemy, go to add class. Let's call this a path. CS. Let's call this public class path. Let's delete the dot enemy at the end of namespace, save it, and uh, that's all we need to do uh, for now. Close the enemy folder and let's go on to the level folder. Right click level, let's go to add class. Let's call this class map.cs. It's going to be a public class map and delete dot level at the end of the namespace. Save the file, right click level, let's go to add class and let's name this map loader. Pretty much every class I'm going to tell you to make set it as a public class and change namespace to what you see here. Uh, that way I don't have to keep on saying it 20 more times and be annoying for you guys. All right, so next one, right click level and go to add class and let's name this pathfinding. All right, now we need another class inside level called tile. All One final class in level called wave. All right, we can close level. And now we're onto the session folder. Right click session, go to add class. And now we need session.cs. All right. And then one more class inside session called player. All right, we can close session. And now we're under the tower folder. Right click tower, go to add class. Let's call this bullet.cs. All 
All right, let's add a tower class inside the tower folder. All right, let's add tower ability inside of the tower folder. Tower statistics is next. Right click tower, go to add class, tower statistics. All right, upgrade statistics to the last class inside tower. So right click tower, go to add class and call this tower, or I'm sorry, upgrade statistics. All right, that is it for the tower folder. Now let's go onto the UI folder. Right click UI, go to add class. Let's add a button class. All right, add another class inside UI called command info bar. All right, add another class in UI called image. And another one called map region. Another class called text, T-E-X-T. Another class called UI block, UI B L O C K, UI block. The main class called user interface. The last class in UI folder should be wave information. All right, we're done with the UI folder, so we can close that folder. Now video is next. Right click video, go to add class, and call this video manager. All right, so that's it for this uh, video. It wasn't really a tutorial. We're just getting ready to start the tutorials. Uh, so I'm gonna open up every folder and I'll run down the list one more time to make sure you got everything. Uh, so you can stay tuned and listen to me uh, read off these again. Or if you think you got everything, you're good to go to stop this video. All right, in the ability folder, we should have ability, ability effect, and ability statistics. Inside the audio folder, we should have audio manager. Inside the enemy folder, we should have monster, monster statistics, and path. In the level folder, we should have map, map loader. Pathfinding, Tile, and Wave. In the Session folder, we should have Player and Session. In the Tower folder, we should have Bullet, Tower, Tower Ability, Tower Statistics, and Upgrade Statistics. In the UI folder, we should have Button, Command Info Bar, Image, 
Map region. Text. UI block. User interface. And wave information. In the video folder, we should have video manager. And from the provided zip file as resources, we should have clickable gameplay object, gameplay object, and mouse. All the f files and classes that are listed need to be public accessible. So change the class to public class and whatever the class is. is. And the namespace should just be namespace tower defense engine tutorial. Once that's done, you are ready to start the next tutorial, which we will start with the bullet class. So I hope to see you next time.